Exciting. We have integral of e to the power. This entire thing is power we are raising e to. e to the power of e to the 2016x plus 6048x. Now the first thing you may realize is that 6048 and 2016 are very closely related. In fact, 6048 is equal to 2016 times 3. So maybe we can use this connection as we go further along the problem or maybe this connection is going to hint us what u substitution is going to be. So let's start by breaking this apart to e to the e to the 2016x times e to the 6048x. I'm just breaking apart this plus by using two exponential, two exponential forms and we have dx. And as we mentioned, we know 6048 is 2016 times 3. So let's, let's utilize that. So we have e to the 2016x cubed dx. And I'm going to ask you a question. What is our u substitution going to be? What is going to be the value of our u? And one of the things that you may say is that e to the 2016x seems to be the natural choice because we have e to the 2016x residing up top right here, and we have another e to the 2016x right here. So e to the 2016x seems like the natural candidate for this u substitution. So let's, let's go for it. So what's our du going to be? Our du is going to be, differentiating this, 2016 times e to the 2016x dx. So let's force du to appear inside our integral. So we have integral of e to the e to the 2016x and we need to have e to the 2016x dx, e to the 2016x dx, we also need 2016. And what else are we going to have to keep the equality? Well, we're breaking apart e to the 2016x cubed to e to the 2016x, and we have to have another e to the 2016x squared. We are just breaking this apart to e to the 2016x and e to the 2016x squared. And since we are multiplying by 2016, we want to divide by 2016. So here we have it. We have du as we wished it to happen right there. We have 1 over 2016 and we have e to the power of e to the 2016x, which is u. So we have e to the power of u and we have u squared. So everything boils down to integrating e to the u, u squared du, then we are going to be done. So how can we integrate this? And since we have transcendental function multiplied by an algebraic function, one of the first things you may say is integration by part. And yes it is, integration by part is the best way, in my opinion, of integrating this because we have a product of algebraic and transcendental function. And one way of doing it, one way of answering this integral, is by using integration by parts twice in the traditional method. Integral of u dv is uv minus integral of v du. But in this video, I'm going to show you a more, a more quicker, more efficient, and perhaps more systematic way, and a way that's easier for you to remember, perhaps. And that's using the tabular method, tabular method of integration by parts. And tabular method is sometimes called tic-tac-toe method, tic-tac-toe method, or DI method. DI stands for differentiation and integration, and that's aptly named because we are going to have differentiation and integration side by side. So this traditional method of this integral of u dv is uv minus integral of v du is a valid way. It's a traditional and it's the most, it may be a very rigorous way of doing integration by parts, but tabular method works is the same thing as integration by parts, just in a more organized, easy to remember way. So how you do tabular method, you're going to pick a part to differentiate, and you're going to pick a part to integrate. So in a traditional sense, we're picking u and dv. And when you pick something to differentiate, you want to pick something that's going to simplify, simplify the more time you differentiate it. Of course, there are exceptions, but usually you want to differentiate something that's going to simplify. In our case, u squared is going to simplify as you differentiate it. u squared then to u, then 2, then sim it simplifies all the way to 0. 
But when you try to differentiate e to the u, you are not going to get any simpler than what you started out with. You are going to, in fact, have the same expression all the way down to infinity. So in our case, we want to pick u squared as our, our differentiation part because u squared simplifies the more time you differentiate it. So, and we, and the other part before I go on, so u squared is going to be differentiating and you're going to pick e to the u as the part we're going to integrate. So let's do so. You're going to differentiate u squared all the way until it simplifies to zero or some, or there is some repeating pattern. But in our case, we're going to go all the way down to zero. And for integration, we have e to the u, e to the u, e to the u, e to the u. It's always going to be e to the u. And since in integration by part, we have this minus sign, we wish to add on the alternating sign from positive, starting with positive, if my tablet starts to work. Okay, my tablet seems to have stopped working. So with start, yes, now it works. We want to start with positive, then you want to go to negative, then positive and negative, and you want to alternate the sign because you have this alternating sign right there. We have minus integral of v du, and if you're, integration, if you're integrating integral of v du using integration by parts one, once, once again, then you're going to have another uv, new u and new v, minus integral of v du, and these two minuses are going to produce plus. So that's why we wish to alternate this plus and minus. I'm not going to prove that this tabular method works rigorously in this video, but I may make a video on why it works in the future. Anyway, maybe that maybe that's giving you some intuition on why we are flipping signs because of this minus sign that's going to that's going to change as we go on. Anyway, how you use this tabular method, you're going to go down diagonally. So like this. So our answer integral of e to u, u squared du is going to be u squared and you want to multiply as you're going down diagonally. So u squared times e to the u minus 2u times e to the u plus e2 times e to the u plus c. Realize how quickly this can be done. Once you get used to it, all you have to do is list the part to differentiate, list the part to integrate, and just differentiate it, integrate it, and just go diagonally, multiply them out, make sure you put the alternating sign and you're done. So we know, we know this integral of e to the u, u squared du is going to be, so we have 1 over 2016, and we have u squared e to the u minus 2u e to the u plus 2 e to the u plus 2 e to the u, and of course we have plus c. And now let's try to simplify this, knowing the fact that our u is equal to e to the 2016x. So we have this expression right there. So we have equals to 1 over 2016. We can factor out e to the u. So e to the u, just factoring e to the u out. We have u squared minus 2u plus 2 inside. And using the fact that u is equal to e to the 2016x, we have 1 over 2016, e to the u, which is e to the 2016x, and we have u squared, which is e to the 4032x, multiplying this thing by 2, minus 2 times e to the u, 2 times u, or e to the 2016x, plus 2, plus c, and we're done. So the answer to this question, let's go all the way up front. The answer to this question is 1 over 2016, e to the e to the 2016x, times e to the... 4032x minus 2 times e to the 2016x plus 2 plus c.